Good evening. We are days away from the start of fall, but the summer temps seem to be sticking around and it's expected to get even warmer this weekend. Yet some buildings across the city have turned on their heat already in accordance to a city bylaw, including this one right here near Young and St. Clair. But city councillors are urging landlords throughout Toronto to turn the heat off. It's extra hot, and then of course trying to go to bed is uh, is extra challenging. And there's a lot of elderly people in our in our building, so those are the ones that I'm probably most concerned about. Temps are unbearable for some tenants across the city. They're the ones whose landlords have turned the AC off and turned the heat on, even though it's unseasonably warm in Toronto. The city heat bylaw took effect September 15th, advising landlords that they are expected to maintain a minimum of 21 degrees in units, a provision that, according to Josh Matlow, should be based on judgment. It, doesn't, it speaks to the, te the, the temperature. It doesn't speak to when you need to turn on your boilers. There's nothing in there that says, flick the switch. So if Mother Nature isn't taking care of it, then yes, flick the switch, get the boiler going, get the heat on. But in this case... Everyone in Toronto knows that Mother Nature is working overtime. When you speak to, when you, Councillor you Matt Lowe, who's also the chair of the Tenant Issues Committee, says he's received over two dozen calls alone today from tenants. One of those buildings is 44 Jake's Ave. 274 units have had their heat turned on. One woman tells City News her apartment hit 31 degrees. It's a bit annoying that they can't turn it off. And then I understand that eventually they got to turn the heat on, but it's not appropriate for right now. If your tenants are baking inside and if you have air conditioning, turn it on, turn off the heat and use common sense, you will be in compliance with the bylaw. Councilor Joe Mahevic, who's the chair of the Board of Health, says he's also been inundated with calls about health concerns. One person has already been hospitalized, but still not all landlords are complying with the city's pleas. But certainly those landlords that are refusing to budge, and there are just too many of them in our city. Residents at 44 Jake's Ave say they were told it's because it takes five days for the system to switch over. We contacted the building's management company, Bentel Kennedy, and the property manager, but our calls and emails weren't returned. Our answer to them is, if it's an economic issue, get over yourselves. Uh, you're responsible for people's lives. I think if anything, that should be looked at maybe in the future, especially with climate change and everything else, that maybe the 15th of September is a bit too early. And that's exactly what Josh Matlow says the city is looking at since these pleas to landlords are becoming a biannual event. He says Mayor John Tory is committed to change the city heat bylaws by this spring to accommodate years when attempts are above seasonal. One of the suggestions that we've been looking at is perhaps even allowing for the medical officer of health to have flexibility to announce to landlords when the date might change for when they're asked to turn the heat on. But today, the councillors say they want landlords to know they won't face fines for turning the heat off. Our folks will not go after you for the next at least five days. Now, we did reach out to TCH. They tell us the heat has not been turned on at any one of their buildings, and they tell us, depending on weather conditions, the earliest that will happen will be this upcoming Monday. Now, for any landlords who may have any questions or concerns on this bylaw or turning off or uh, turning on the heat, they are expected to call their city councillors or you can call bylaw offices.